Okay, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another Amateur League of Legends VOD review. My name is Freedom Potatoes, I'm a Diamond mid laner, and today I'm going to be looking at our second match in the Aegis Defender League, which is a Masters 100 LP capped league. Yeah, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, we had a pretty rough week uh, this time around. Uh, just up front, we lost both games, so I'm going to be really focusing on the early game, because I think I was a big part of why we lost, and I'm going to try to improve those things for next week. Um, not too much important stuff happened in draft i think um i was playing syndra as a counter pick to oriana that's a matchup that syndra should win but because the enemy team had a nocturne oriana combo i was trying out running a uh, phase rush as a defensive rune to try and kind of be more evasive against their front line um and and dive um which i think in hindsight was a mistake because Mm, Syndra can bully Oriana out of lane if you take Aerie, um, and that's what I needed to do was be ahead, be a winning lane for the team, and, and spread that pressure around the map. Instead, I kind of played for a greedy later game rune, and I think that hurt me pretty significantly. Um, so let's go to some of these highlights. So yeah, I was... Because I'm playing like a more defensive rune setup, um, the lane was like pretty even in a way that I think generally it shouldn't be. Um, and so my jungler here is uh coming for a gank um and i'm like really low so i'm trying to bait um and i think that's also a mistake here because this cannon's about to die and we can go in off of her going for the cannon minion um or like trying to pressure me off other minions but instead i kind of give her a win-win situation and throw my stun too hastily um like she hadn't begun to like auto a minion or anything for example um and so I get tagged and I die to the airy proc. She does die to my jungler in exchange, but I didn't need to walk up that far. Um, I think when I saw the way that she was moving around those minions, I can back up a little bit um, instead of, yeah. Uh, that's that's one thing that I think I need to try and work on a little bit, especially when in matchups where I have range advantage is not clicking on the enemy as I'm throwing abilities. Cause that makes it easier for them to dodge cause they can see like where I'm moving. And um, I mean, sometimes it puts me in range of dying or taking unnecessary poke when looking for skill shots of my own that I have yeah more range on. So this part of the lane, um, my wave's like kind of frozen on her side, and so I'm trying to shove it in, um, although I think it actually would bounce back to me eventually, but I want to be able to get... Um, yeah, I just want to be able to get a more favorable wave state, so I'm trying to shove in here. Um, however, I think I play it kind of poorly in that... Um, while my like stated goal here is to get the wave in you can see i'm using abilities on her instead of on the wave so like i land the stun that's fine and all um but like that minion gets tossed away from the wave and now my shove isn't coming as fast as i'd hoped and i have no stun uh which will come into play here in just a few seconds because we can see nocturne coming in and so what happens here is that I mismanage my phase rush because you can see I use my Q on Oriana, um, which like doesn't really achieve anything. I'm not going to get her low enough to make her call off the gank. Um, and then I don't auto her. And then instead I throw my W E on Nocturne, which like that just, I'd say that's just a little unlucky that that doesn't stun, but it's, that's not the primary issue here. I need to either auto W E the Nocturne. So, so auto before I throw that combo, or I just need to throw everything at Syndra to proc phase rush and get away. But instead I get no phase rush proc kind of panic about it. And then Nocturne flashes on me and I die. I don't even think he needed to flash, but, um, yeah. So that puts me at zero, two and one. So I, I didn't even get the KP from the first gank, or I didn't get the kill on the first gank. So now she's up two kills, um, in a matchup that should be pretty favorable for me. Um, which feels pretty bad. Yeah, so while contesting the grubs, we get roamed on by the enemy support. Um, so it's a, a 3v4, and we're very split. Nocturne ult comes down. Um, and I kind of just have to like play really slow, because I can't see what's going on. Oriana whiffs her ult, and that gives me the window to go in here. And I think I am able to actually pick up the Nocturne. Um, yeah, I have to burn Flash to do it, but I get him. Which, yeah, nice little trade back. Um, I think that's about as good as we can hope for in that situation, where we're outnumbered and, and they have the Nocturne ult. Sorry if you're hearing league sounds. My team is now messaging me. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. So you can see, like, when I play a lot more patient, this goes a lot better for me. So, like, I hold the W. She gets kind of panicked and walks into it. Then I hit the Q, and I hit a QE combo. Cancel an auto, which isn't great. Um, but I am able to get her flash with that last Q. If I had ult or something, then I would have real kill threat. Unfortunately, I like, yeah, I should be a little more ahead. I should probably have more damage runes, and then that would have been a kill in the first place. But, um, I mean, can't, can't change that.
at this stage in the game. But that's just an example of like how slowing down things uh, when you're able to like not be so overloaded on the mental stack, as it were, can really help. Um, yeah, so then we can look at the second game real quick. We basically run back the same draft, um, except we put Mordekaiser in the top lane, and they counterpick with Olaf. That was like really... Bo I think both games ended up being kind of rough top matchups. Um, but that wasn't the issue this series. The issue was... Um, kind of all of us underperforming, but I think especially me, especially in the second game. I'm not going to look at the second game, like, too closely. Um, just a lot of a lot of the issues from game one honestly got worse. I tried to improve my rune setup by taking uh, Biscuits instead of Dematerializer to be able to trade a little more aggressively. Um, but I was still getting hit by, like, a lot of skill shots. I think partly, like, kind of tilt or nerves from the first game seeping into the second one. Um, yeah, like, I missed a lot of CS that I feel like I shouldn't have. I wasn't managing my wave states as well. Um... And so, like, yeah, I'm getting hit by a lot of pokes. So, yeah, similar story to the first game. I'm very low. Uh, not uh, Jungler's coming in, and we f we're looking to secure, like, first blood here. But I'm, I throw the QE combo a little too hastily, and, and this is, uh, like, yeah, what I'm talking about where I can slow it down. Like, she, if she jukes downward, that still puts her closer and ranges in. But instead, I just, it goes right through. Um... Another thing to think about here is, um, like, just reading how the enemy dodges. So, a lot of players, I expect, you know, when I'm throwing a skill shot, they're going to juke back the other direction. But the Oriana would here would just, like, keep walking the same way. And I think that's something I should have been able to adapt to better in this series, is, is her pattern of, of dodging. Because, um, yeah, there's, there were a lot of similar cases like this. Um, yeah, our jungler is able to eventually, like, flash in and kill her in the jungle, which works out. But another crucial mistake here is, like, this is not a bad wave state. This is basically neutral. It'll, sh like, slow push to her because it's on my side. But instead, I decide to push with no mana. Like, I... This is a decision I can't really explain in post. I think, like, from an outside perspective, it's just really bad um, to shove here. Um, I think what I probably wanted is, like, money for chapter, which um, I don't get. Like, that's not something I can achieve on this back. Um, yeah, so she's able to TP in and collect that wave. Um, and this leads to uh, things going pretty badly for us here because our jungler is doing grubs um, and we see Nocturne moving. So I try I TP in and try to help him. But Orion has been collecting a wave this whole time. So what I don't notice is that she hit level 6. While I was TPing back, I'm still like so, you know, 75% of the way there. So we hit the stun, we go in, we think this looks good. But because she's able to ult and then our jungler gets feared, he ends up dropping um, and I don't have the damage to follow up. If I have ult, that's a totally different story. Um, and so, yeah, then our Mord gets caught in the middle of three people, and, um, we do get a nice little kill on the Nocturne, but that's still a two-for-one, um, against us, and, uh, from here, the game just gets, like, worse and worse, I think I am down, like, 20 or 30 CS within the next couple minutes, so, yeah, that's, that's it for this series, pretty much, uh, felt really bad after these two games, like, you can see here, I'm, like, rushing my skill shots, um, I mean, I think the second QE was, like, not a horrible attempt, but it, yeah. It's, yeah, so this this was a rough series. Um, hope we can be back stronger next week. I think, like, if I fight this guy again, I think I can totally win. And, hey, maybe they'll get greedy and leave Syndra up, and I'll, I, yeah, beat him with it next time. Um, so, yeah, trying to keep this one a little shorter than the previous VOD reviews. I'm not going too much into the late game because everything just stems from the early game in this series. Um, eventually we just like lose the gold diff and uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, we, we, all we can do is try to learn as much as we can. So I hope that was informative for you. I think it was really good for me to look at my own gameplay and see what I could have done better. Um, and yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Whenever I make my next video. Peace.